Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at how to quickly retouch your light skin model in Photoshop without wasting much of your time. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing in this image is I'm going to be correcting the lightning. Of course, it's looking too exposed and all of that. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is to bring down my highlights a little, as much as I can, not a little. Bring down your highlights as much as you can just to restore details back to this part of the image and if you still feel it's too exposed which is what i feel right now you should then bring down your exposure just like that yeah and lift up your shadows a little so once you are done correcting the light and i feel the image is too warm for my liking so to fix the the white balance of the image i'll just pick up my uh, my eyedropper to and make a rectangular shape around her like this and Photoshop is going to use AI to be able to map the whole image and give us a very good white balance. If you are not satisfied with it, you can now just make few adjustments. So looking at it, I'm noticing a lot of greens in the image which I do not want. So I'm going to move these sliders just a little towards the magenta to kill or reduce the greens that it's bringing into the image and after doing that increase your temperature just a little and we are good to go so just by doing a few clicks this is how much we've been able to do this was the image when we came into photoshop this is the image after we've done few corrections on it we're using just our eyedropper tool and moving the hdr around just a little so when you are done with that open it up in photoshop All right, so once you come into Photoshop, of course, give it your standard crop, which is your 4x5 or 8x10 cropping size and see how it affects your image. I think I like it this way. So I'm just going to make sure I get her hands back in. Yeah, just keep it like this. Press OK. Pick up your market tool and fill up this area. Since it's a plain background, this will work. Control T. Drag it like this. Do the same thing over here. Control T drag it like this so for this one we're going to be using our retouch academy so i'm just going to load up retouch academy yeah zoom in on the image and see the things that needs to be fixed so one of the things i notice i need to fix in this image is my blend misses. so to fix that i'm just going to load up my black and white adjustment layer bring down the the reds a little yeah just bring it down to be able to use it as your check layer and pick up your uh, your healing brush to create a blank layer make sure that your sample layer is in current and below and just quickly fix the blemishes all right so once you are done delete your black and white layer we are done with the blemishes so let's just take a quick look at it before after before after so i'm going to just flatten that up i'll quickly load up my frequency separation so in this one we're going to be using lasso 2 and another type of skin smoothing we'll be doing all of that here and you will see how amazing it's going to look so i'm just going to check the image is a 16 bit image so i'm going to load up my 16 bit and make sure my Gaussian blur is kept somewhere around four since the image doesn't have a lot of details and i want to fix these green veins using frequency separation so i'm going to keep it around for press ok so once you do that load up your lasso tool make sure you are in low frequency load up your lasso tool make sure that your feather is in 15 15 then quickly just start making shapes around her and blurring it out and see how it's going to affect your image so i'm just going to make a selection like this make a selection like this around her skin so one of the rules of using lasso tool is that you should always avoid the edges. The moment you get to the edges, it starts spilling on your image. It starts having an effect on your image in a way that you wouldn't be satisfied with. So just always avoid your edges when you're using this technique. Go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur and just increase your Gaussian blur until you have gotten the level of smoothness you want to have on your image. So I think somewhere around 22 will do a good job press OK. So let's just do it like that around her skin. So once you make your next selection, 
If you do not want to go back to the filter and all of that, you can just right click and come over to your Gaussian block, click on it, and it's going to apply that same number of Gaussian block on every other part that you want to apply it. Yeah, just like that. So when you apply in a particular place and you feel it's too much, you can as well right click and go to fade Gaussian blur and just reduce the opacity of the effect on that particular area. Sorry. Let's go to fade Gaussian blur. See, reduce it. Check over here. It's a full, so do the same thing around her body. Okay, so let's quickly do an overview and see how much we've done. So this is before. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Just going around the skin quickly, we've been able to even make it look a bit more beautiful. Look at that arm. So I remember saying that I wanted to use people in separation to fix the, the green uh, the green veins around her arms and see how much we've been able to do that before, after, before, after. Look at the arms over here. So this is a very quick way you can use to even retouch your image using free separation, but instead of using your mixer brush tool, you use your lasso tool. So let's just quickly fix the eye bag over here. So I'm going to pick up my clear stamp tool. I just quickly paint over the eye bags here. I just remove it. So you can as well decide to fix this skin over here if you don't like it. So I'll just fix it. Fix this hair on our skin. All right, so once you are done with that, quickly just flatten everything up and let's clean up one or two things and we are good to go. I'm just going to flatten this up. So the next thing we are going to be doing is that we're going to be using this tool over here. I'm sure that many of you are not very conversant with it, but I'm going to show you how beautifully well you can use it to smooth your image even without doing a lot of work. So I'm just going to click over it. It's called remove body and facial hair. So just click over it. Make sure your high pass is set in a way that you can still retain textures in your image. Very important. So when you zoom in and you are seeing textures, know that the number is good. Press OK and make sure that your Gaussian block is set at a number that is giving you a very good smoothening on your skin. This is too much. Keep it somewhere around six. Yeah. So this is just just exactly the same technique that you can use while uh, that you use while doing your frequency separations. Just that it's a different way of setting it. So press OK. It's going to load up the last one. Make sure that the value is the same thing. Do not change anything and just press OK. So once you are done with that, take up your brush tool and paint over the skin. All right, so once you are done with that, reduce the opacity. I'm going to stop just at the face because I think that's where I need it the most. The arms are already nice. So I'm just going to avoid the arms and just do it on the face. So I'm keeping it somewhere around 50 so that it won't be look looking too waxed out in the image. Press OK and make sure you flatten up. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to clean up her eyes. So I'm going to go straight to Magic Eyes. I'll quickly clean up her eyes using my brush. All right, so just open up the group, go to clean white eyes and just clean over the eyes, just like this. It's going to give you the white color that you want. Okay, so if you feel that it's not as white as you want, you can as well open up this group and make some adjustments. You can go into the hue and just find out exactly how it's affecting the image. Okay, so I think the whiteness is in the hue so you can just go into the hues and increase and increase the white the lightness okay so the lightness is already up you can as well reduce the saturation of the reds and go into your channel mixer and increase the opacity so you get even a brighter white color for her eyes 
So that's how you can even retouch your eyes when you have painted you can open up the groups and make some adjustments just to be able to get back the details that you want to get back or remove the ones you want to remove when you are done with that al always flatten when you are working destructively always flatten so the reason i'm flattening this whole stuff is that i'm using actions of course you know that returns for me works with actions i'm using actions so to avoid stuffs colliding into each other i keep flattening to be able to make sure that i keep it clean keep my layers in a very limited number and work effectively so once you are done with that i'm going to quickly work on the background so i'll make a selection of the subject all right so i'm going to right click on the object go to selecting us to make a selection of my background i'll quickly smoothen it out so duplicate your background go to layer via cut hold control to reload the selection on the background go to your filter go to blur go to Gaussian blur i'll quickly smoothen it out just like that so you can as well at this point decide to even introduce a new color to the background let's see what reds will look like on the background so i'm just going to make a selection yeah just pick my reds like this change the blend mode to color or even overlay any 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 blend mode that brings the red out for you but still blends it so well into the background and not making it look like it's uh it she's not standing there in the real image i don't think red is giving us a good color let's see what the yellows will do this is so nice so i'm just going to darken it down a little to give her separation from that yellow beautiful increase the saturation a bit nice one it's all around here is saturation just make it come out a little more well i think that is quite too much so we're going to reduce it just like this press okay reduce the opacity just to give her that that uniformity with the background so the last thing i'm going to be doing is to where i still feel that i prefer my original background to this added yellow so i'm going to remove it. i'm going to remove it that's one beautiful thing with working with photoshop you have your creativity flexibility you can decide to do whatever you want to do so i'm going to introduce some color lookup into the image let's see how it handles it for us just to quickly color grade it using our color lookup table i think i love what i have here i'm going to reduce the opacity and quickly introduce a cooling filter effect to it and we are good to go so looking at the image i think i need her skin tone to pop out a little more with some brightness so i'm going to increase luminosity on her skin tone just pick up your hand tool and increase her skin like this yeah can now decide to reduce the shadows as well to even add a little bit of contrast so this is before this is after so let's quickly take a quick look at how much we've done so this was the image when we came into photoshop let's take a snapshot so this was the image when we started working on it and this is where we are able to bring it just with doing we just with doing some few clicks and tricks on it and we're able to get a good job one more thing we can do is to even add a little bit of snoot effect to it so i'm just going to drag this snoot over here just to give her that separation from the background i think i'm going to be using this one let me just make a selection of this just like this right click and delete the rest of the snoot just like that press ctrl d so we can now move it around i'm going to drag it over my object place it behind her and scale it up just like this press ok so all we need to do is just to change the blend mode and we will get something very beautiful look at that before and after it even gives her a little bit of separation from the background I think we need to darken it down a little and blow it out a little as well. So we'll just go to our Gaussian blow and blow it out. Nice one. Press OK. Then the last thing, we'll reduce the opacity and we are good to go. So look at the way she's already standing out from the background just by introducing that snoot. You can even decide to move the snoot around and if you find a way to add more colors thank you for watching this amazing video make sure you are subscribed to our youtube channel and click on the notification bell to get inspired 
every single time we'll drop a new video until then see you on the next one